What is up dude, Serious Angry Grandpa, great news today guys. So, yesterday we got a, a message, well, uh, an announcement that the Eagles of War, the Apocalypse Team Battle Pad will be launched and um, it looks quite sick. So the price vehicles obtainable via Battle Pad levels will be the Shilka that I've made a video, the tier 4 premium AV at the level 10 when you unlock the level 10 you're gonna get this tank then the tier 9 premium spg which is very new and i really like this because us players that plays this game and we have a lot of spgs uh you know and some of us likes to play with spg like me um it will be unlocked at level 25 so uh gonna look at this also we'll have uh a tier 8 premium TD for unlocking level 40 so it's gonna co be called Chrysanthema S or the 9P150572 uh, just put it Chrysanthema and at level 50 we will have the object 195 um, if we look at this uh, so here it is the Shilka here it is the um, the tier 8 um, premium TD which is with 80 GMs only and I'm looking forward to see like around a thousand and something penetration with 800 damage or a thousand damage who knows because this tank has no other options or probably you might have no idea but as it looks it's just two 80 GMs you don't have nothing on the sides, uh, you know, like some really weird uh, weapons. This is the tier 10 object and uh, it looks quite nice, you know, uh, the tank quite uh, very tall to speak the least. Uh, interesting gun, a lot of smoke grenades pointed and APSs and so on good viewport which may seem like this tank will have a really good view range and probably not a tank for fighting probably a tank for sniping for second third position behind the uh, team every level will be um, costing from tier like from level 10 you from 4000 to 4500 coins so uh, two battle paths ago uh, the levels were from level 10 or 25 to from 3000 to 3500 and the X event was from 3500 to 4000 something like this so they increased by 500 points per battle uh, per level which um, it's a bit a lot you know but you get some interesting tanks so um you get also some skins which are in the progress the biohazard looks quite sick i like it it's something like steampunk you know or something like this which is very uh, which is very you know cool and um let's see um what else so here is another skin for this tank for the object the tier 10 uh, another skin, you know, I think it's for winter, desert and so on. I was looking for something much more interesting, not this type of a skin. It looks okay, but I really want to see something like it is on this Shilka, you know. Like, this is freaking sick. And I really want to see this, uh, you know, coming. Here is a, a separate tank, which uh, we will have like, when you open the, let's say the crates uh, around level 40 or something, or nearly to the half end of the event, we will be able to get uh, this tank, which will be obtainable through crates and as i know from my experience uh, if you want to put money yeah okay this is, looks like an fv it has 480 gms a machine gun and as i see like a third gun as it shoots probably heat ammo 
or some ATGM hit or something like this because it's very weird like um, it has a lot of weapons a lot of weapons I really like that the smoke grenades are placed on the front um, probably ain't gonna be like circular smoke but uh, frontly smoke so yeah probably the machine gun will be with um, 205 210 perhaps penetration and 25 damage ATGMs around 750 800 with 800 damage probably and this type of ammunition or something weird shit is going on here and this tanks turret probably will be also with hit ammo I don't know I really don't know so this is the Kurganets 25 TD or something like this um, and um, on the other hand they will they do give you the opportunity to obtain yeah, the Kurgan S25, credits, boosters, premium time, premium vehicles including tier 10 ones and those from the previous battle paths, commanders including Ophelia Kitescu and Alisa Korhonen which um, they quite good, you know, captains, uh, commanders but uh, expensive ones. As for this one, I'm looking forward to see some high stats probably on penetration but uh, to be an auto load or something like this or um, I don't know fast very fast reloading time something like this too bad we don't have a, a tier 10 TD as a reward but we have an artillery and I'm gonna look for the artillery right now because it's been added so here we go back so here is the artillery the MST uh, S self-propelled gun so it looks very similar to the tier 9 8 something like this you know uh quite bulky i hope it's an auto loader i haven't checked the stats or google stuff like this so um the goal was to match or surpass the newly developed nato artillery pieces with long 155 millimeters gun that were designed to offer enough range to keep soviet infantry from actually reaching the front the soviets needed the same type of weapon in their arsenal so this tank is being made you know to protect the country obviously and here are some uh, images so it really looks similar to the tier 9 that we have um, and a small combination perhaps between if you move if you move the turret in the front it will look the same like uh, you know the tier 8 premium one of those so um, in my opinion it, it's gonna be a good artillery it's a tier 9 it's premium it's new uh, I really like it I'm hyped I'm happy um, interesting thing I noticed now is that it has this gun but now I see for the first time what's this behind I have no idea Probably it is uh, some sort of a mortar or an ATGM or a mechanism to defend or something to guide. No idea what it is. I really have no idea. But it looks interesting. So it says this. Standard shell, 300 meters per second. The highest trajectory that will make it easier to fire a target behind cover. Fast shell, 600 meters per second with low trajectory that will make it easier to fire at moving targets but not over obstacles available via additional battle path progression. So the moment you're gonna play with this tank and the moment you fulfill some missions, sadly par guys, you need to make the experience. And even though you made the experience 20, plus 20 XP or 30 XP, uh, the moment you finish probably 50 or 100 or 250 missions or whatever how many you finish uh, for this tank to unlock probably the gun probably the shells as it says here or some other thing um, it, it will be a grind but uh, hopefully it will be fun otherwise they both will have the same property similar to other high caliber and high tier high explosive shells 50 millimeters penetration 1200 points of damage per shot so it's quite of a impressive you know uh, look on stats by design it seems big as uh, palmaria but 
uh, probably not so big, you know, um, probably at the same level, well, height, sorry, as a T056 MBT, um, yeah, um, here is the tank, the Chrysanthema S also, it looks sick, I saw it on the NATO YouTube channel uh, that they do about tanks and so on, which I'm a subscriber also, and I'm looking towards to see high technology, you know, in uh, defense and not just war in defense in case of some bad shit coming. So uh, this has a, a range of 500 meters. So the view range of this tank will be high due to this thing in the front. Uh, maximum range will be 5 kilometers later improved to 6 kilometers, but reduced to 3.5 kilometers at night. Missile weight 46 kilograms, 8 kilograms falls to the heat warhead. Flight speed circa 400 meters per second. So it's gonna be, you know, quite fast. It has the tandem heat. So it will be awesome. As I said, guys, this this tank, if it doesn't have as uh, at its tier a high penetration, then it's gonna be a shitty TD. But as I said in the previous like in the beginning probably a thousand penetration and a thousand damage or 800 damage or 800 penetration but seems like my position prediction will be in higher uh, well lower but here it is a thousand two hundred and fifty millimeters penetration uh, after defeating era so imagine imagine how much damage can do this look how huge it is man it's freaking huge um how big it is this this uh, shell and here is some images from real life with the tank itself with just one uh atgm and here are the images about this tank um it says here some uh, 40 vehicles were sold to libya between 2010 and 2013 first one vehicles used by azerbaijan uh, with Ukrainian optics, three of these may be, uh, you know, command vehicles. 28 in Russia service upgraded with the Belarusian optics. So it's it's gonna be interesting because I presume that this tank is gonna have an upgrade for the optics itself, the view range. Uh, as you notice, it said in the beginning that. Um, Maximum range, you know, five, six, and then on on the night, uh, three point five. So view range will oscillate uh, depending on the, I don't know, uh, something like that. So in Armory Warfare, the Chrysanthema S will be the tier eight premium tank destroyer. As you can probably see from its design, this will be a long range missile tank destroyer with a twin ATGM launcher. But before we get into details, the usual disclaimer, yeah, the numbers is just in testing, so it's pointless to read. Here is the ability, the radar, which uh, looks sick. So let's have a look at the GIF itself. So, uh, quite interesting. Here is the reloading time, very similar to some other tanks, but it's very interesting, you know, uh, I really like this. And um, obviously, yeah, some other images, some shots from the back. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to this update to come so that uh, we can enjoy this. Um, yeah, thanks for watching guys. See you on the next uh, video.